The first official look at the Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra is here, and it's already generating mixed reactions. Samsung's upcoming tablet is drawing attention for its redesigned display and changes to key features. The most noticeable shift is the new V-shaped notch, replacing the wide one found in older models. While it's meant to modernize the look, many users are questioning the need for any notch at all on a tablet, especially when it's housing just a basic selfie camera. Making things even more debatable is the downgrade from dual front-facing cameras to just a single one. This change has sparked concern among users who rely on auto framing during video calls. Although it's technically still possible to achieve that with one camera, as Apple has already shown. Adding to the controversy is the S Pen situation. The usual magnetic charging strip that lets users attach and charge the pen on the back seems to be gone. This has led to speculation maybe Samsung just removed the visual strip while keeping the magnets. or perhaps they've moved the charging area to the side like apple does some also believe samsung might have removed bluetooth functionality from the pen entirely especially since the company once claimed that less than 1% of users use those features if true this would be a surprising move particularly for a productivity device the new s pen design is reportedly more angular and could indicate a switch to an active stylus that needs to be charged to work again similar to the Apple Pencil. Critics argue that if Samsung eliminates Bluetooth features, it risks hurting the experience for serious users. Meanwhile, the rear camera design is also getting a facelift. The familiar camera rings are gone, giving it a cleaner look that now resembles Samsung's Z Fold 7 lineup. On the power front, there's finally a battery upgrade for the Ultra model, the first one since the Tab S8 Ultra back in 2022. The estimated 11,700 mAh battery represents about a 500 mAh increase. However, the base Tab S11 will reportedly stick with the same battery size as its predecessor, the Tab S9. Under the hood, things get even more controversial. The new Tab S11 Ultra is expected to run on the MediaTek Dimensity 9400 Plus chip. Benchmark scores show decent improvements over the Tab S10 Ultra. but it still lags far behind Snapdragon's latest 8 Gen 3 Elite chip seen in flagship devices like the Galaxy S25 Ultra. For a tablet that might cost around $1200, this feels like a letdown to many fans who see it as Samsung cutting corners on performance. Another surprising decision is the simplified model lineup. Unlike previous years, Samsung is reportedly skipping the Plus version altogether and will only launch the Tab S11 and Tab S11 Ultra. The release is just a couple of months away and pre-orders for the Z Fold 7 are already live with perks available for a limited time. In summary, the Tab S11 series is shaping up to be a mix of forward-looking design and controversial compromises. From the divisive notch and reduced front camera setup to uncertainty around the S Pen and a potentially underwhelming chipset, it's clear that not everyone will be thrilled with Samsung's latest decisions. So that's it for today's video. Be sure to subscribe to us to watch the latest tech news and updates. See you in the next one.